Hello, welcome back to Galactic Civilizations for Supernova and to our tiny spec in a, in a massive galaxy here. Thanks again, Stardock, for sponsoring this series. This is part two of our uh, tree conquering civilization species. I think our goal is just build as many planets as I can and try to try to keep food up there, try to keep money going and get as much stuff colonized as possible. I think it's, I think it's going to be the way to do this. Uh, because I have the ability to create worlds, I should use it. Um, we'll get a colony ship out here and we'll grab that guy. In fact, what we can do immediately is we can throw out an order here and just get a free colony ship. Approval gets hit with it, which our approval could use a little help. But, you know, things, have, things happen sometimes. Colony ship is out there. Uh, there's a few planets that I can go and colonize and... This, where's this one at? This one's way down here, which is not really near me at all. So maybe not that one. Um, is this one any really good? Not really. And then there's there's Shield, which is right next to my home world. And then there's this guy over here, which we need precursor studies, which can be a little bit before we get there. Um, so I'm going to go grab Shield. Because it's right here. Might as well get it started up. And all that, all that extra resources will come flying into my system as well. Um, what we could also do is we could also use this ability and bump Shade up. To really crank my capital into something. Or any of these, really. Um, in fact, it might even be better to do that now. Rather than do... You know, let's do it. Let's, instead of doing that world, let's just hit that one with it. A lot better resources. And just colonize that guy. There we go. Okay. Uh, as far as our, our ship building, we're making a supply ship right now to send out to one of our colonies to get some help get it cooking. And then we'll build another colony ship, and then we'll get some more flagships, which I might actually arrange some things. No, I think it's fine. We're not fighting anything just yet. If we need to, we can always crank them out. Okay. Now, let's go um, build some trees. We'll see if we can get this like this whole place yellow and, and uh, conquer that way. I did a bit of that last time. I did a lot of uh, sort of forcing my way with, with culture. It seemed to work pretty well. I think we'll stick with it. So shade again. We're not gonna we're not gonna like make this a core world. We're just gonna feed all of those resources over here. And there's not a lot of attrition because it's so close. And so this will help this planet build a lot better, a lot faster. Um, we actually have plenty of food, but I'm making a food place, but I guess it's okay. I suppose. Uh, you make me. You want me to build a manufacturing base? Yeah, we probably should. Um, we'll get a military spot over here, and we'll probably turn it into probably like right over, over there somewhere. I don't know. We'll get we'll get it built around in this core vicinity. Okay, supply ship. So, I think what I want you to do. Let's see. I think I want to send you, because you're going to give a nice boost to, we can either send you over here to Absolute No and try to get it built up. Not Absolute No, 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 not, not that one. Uh, to Hulse Taylor over here. To try to build up, or or try to build up this one. And this one this one has that manufacturing deficit, so it might that might be a good way of mitigating that. Kind of what I'm thinking here. And if we can get this one in, in good shape, we may be a little, we may be in, in a good position here to have a nice foothold way out there. Okay. Let's keep going. My probe's gonna run around here and explore everything. Hey, we can talk to people now. Okay. Um, yeah, you know what? Uh, movement speed by one. Let's do that so we can move, uh, move around a little quicker. Our scientists have developed a universal translator. This remarkable... Okay. Talk to people now. Our vessel has chanced upon a unique artifact floating in the icy emptiness of space. It's a big D20. It seems to be a cage, but not one constructed for any ordinary creature. This confinement device was crafted for something truly monstrous. We are left with two distinct choices. Either we keep the artifact and potentially unleash the beast at a strategic point in time, or we investigate the cage's advanced technology, running the risk of accidentally setting the captive creature free. Oh, we gotta take the... We gotta keep it and set it free whenever we force out of another dimension and trapped in ours. We could release it and may go after us as well. Spawn a minor, minor space monster. I mean, that could be pretty nasty. Like early on in the game, a space monster hounding these places. That sounds pretty good. Um, 
Who do I hit? Do I hit these guys? I can, we can put it. I can put it down here. Can I tell where it to go? Yeah. I want you to go right here. Let's go, like, terrorize these guys a little bit. Hopefully he doesn't come up towards me. And we'll see what they say. Uh, yeah, we need a diplomat. Uh, anyone good at talking? You're expensive. Um, you have good social skills. Yeah, you, you can go in there. Do we care about uh, who we... Maybe we should talk to... Um, we have anything to trade anyway. Do we care about how happy we are these people? I don't think so. It'd be nice to get, to get some text or, or some... Yeah, resources and techs. How much? What do you want for that? If I give you like asteroid mining, no, he says. Um. Not acceptable. Okay. Um, we don't need it right now. You're clever for animals, he says. I'm not an animal, I'm a tree. All right, well, we'll see. If, if he, like, comes to us and offers thing, some tech, we'll do it. But otherwise, we're not going to worry about that too much. We're not really concerned about, like, being friendly trees. We're more concerned about conquering things. Um, Hulse Taylor is real bad on the approval, and I don't know. Let's take a look here. Crime a much different. Hmm. What do? Why is your? Why is it so bad? It's because the the criminals around here badly burned a, in a cooking accident as a child. Okay. Maybe we need to get someone else in here. Someone with some social skills in this place instead, and that might help us out a little bit. So we've got... Where is he at? This guy. No one's the greatest. Um, I think my minister's replacement? Maybe. Maybe this guy. Uh... Yeah. I'm going to buy you. I'm going to take you out of there and put you... Put... You... Uh, who do I just have in there? Let's see. Approval. Neither of them like me very much. I'm going to put this guy over here. You go, you go there. Execute. Ooh. Okay. Does that do anything for me? Six percent. We'll see if it gets any better. Uh, we can always make entertainment district and try to like rush that thing I need 900 bucks for that okay um, well we'll see what we can do hopefully they don't uh, go too crazy with me oh there we go trade mining so you want open borders and you're gonna give me I get, I get weapon systems and open borders and you get asteroid mining. Sure, I'm fine with that. Okay. Most tech trading, I'm, I'll, I'll take. As long as I get some tech out of it. Sure. Okay, colony ship. Send that guy over there. And... Should I try to colonize this one? Is that worth trying to get? Always good targets to colonize. It's risky being between two of their planets. Also, there's a there's a big space monster running around. Uh, I hear. Um, I can either try to go there and try to grab that planet 
kind of risky. Or I could I could um, stick with with this little guy up here and kind of stick in my corner. I think I'm gonna run down here. Fight down here. We'll keep an eye. Like there's we'll keep an eye on that monster. See what he's doing over there. We may grab that planet though. What a mining. Who's that one? A biographer is conducting an interview with you with the intent to pen a book about your ascent to power. He is curious to know what inspired you to spearhead the journey from your home planet to the uncharted territories of space. Give me that science. Okay, so we go astro mining and I give you I give that and, and gravity and research. Three of them for just money and I don't like to do that one. No, no, no. You give me text, I'm happy. I give you text, no. I, I not like as long as it's more. Ooh, a precursor anomaly here, huh? We'll see that that monster over here. I probably should send like a scout around, take an eye to to see if he's still over here. Oh, they colonized it. Well, then, I think we're just going to take... We're just going to take this planet, then. Oh, the Isengard. Let's go and... I think we set you to, uh, to explore. Or survey, actually, what I would want you to do. But you're not a flagship, you're just a frigate. I think the other guy, I think the other one that was in there is a flagship, right? Aren't? Where is it at? Now this guy, are you not a flagship? Well, you're just, no, you're not. Okay. Um, all right. I will do constructor then. Okay. And you, um... I'll just kind of keep you close by. I don't know, there's not really any reason to explore. I'll just park you in the planet here. We'll use you shortly. Most populous. Yeah, not a lot of trees around here. I'm working on it. Okay, bonus manufacturing and military. Or we can just come in here and just say build a... Um, well... That'd be a five for military bonus. That's kind of what I want to put in there. Is that what we want to do first, though? Is that the first? Is that the most important thing right now? Research. Some food bonuses. Which we're doing just fine. This will give adjacency bonuses to research around it. Plus your level of wealth around. Who's influence on the selected world? Sure. Provides a charge that will boost influence on the selected world. Yeah. Okay with that. Okay, how are we looking over here? That ship arrived already? I guess so. Okay. So, we're going on manufacturing districts. Which is not going to be a very manufacturing place. So, we probably should look at doing... He didn't get boosts around there. So, manufacturing around him. That's what he, Well, he's automated, isn't he? Um... Money, there's food. We probably need to get, like, we need to focus on some culture around here. Why don't you put that one in there? Hmm. Culture would be a, a, a nice thing to have on this side of the world. are happy here. 
It's too entertainment if we put it there, huh? Yeah. Okay, I'll let, I'll let it be. Let's see if we can, we'll keep an eye on it though. Um, just harmonics that have beyond their imagination. Willing to share knowledge on how to detect these harmonics, which you should aid your science. We want access to some of your worlds. What do you want? Um, if we do it, we get minus 2% approval for 20 months. If we say no, get out of here. How are we looking over here? There we go. Okay. We're on, on the ups. Okay, good. We're a little ugly around there. I didn't put the fog tree in there, did I? I should probably go like. If I put it there. Let's do that. Or. Get bonuses to all those around there. You know what? Let's do that one. Um, the nail. Okay, so that's that's two ships. Just a frigate. Hang out in there for now. It'll be done in a minute. Uh, what was that? Upgrade manufacturing um, things. We got one. Yeah, add that to the list. That's a good one to do. As migration of strange, strange space creatures are migrating through our territory. They're creating a havoc in their wake. There's pressure on us to eliminate these creatures, but we've heard that you have a fondness of these kinds of things. We can protect them. We get a passive uh, pacifism bonus. Or we say, I got an idea. And we get 100 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Last thing we want is an invasive species coming into our forests. So I give you all kinds of stuff. You give me, you give me garbage. Well, that's two at least. So you get, you're getting there. That is the one that I wanted. I don't know if I'm gonna give you three techs for those. No thanks. Okay, shield is colonized, and again, it's gonna feed into the capital. Mines for our colonies, yeah. Okay, you got all this stuff feeding India. Okay, and some trade. Discover remnants of one of our first space vessels. Evidence of the time when we stepped for, uh, stepped uh, beyond our Boku. What do we do with it? Do we research to all worlds? Money? Or we'll get a free probe and, uh, hmm. I'll take research. Big score. Mine's 51. Okay, so about the same. And it's a tiny, tiny map. We've explored everything. And our, our probes are out just running around things they've already seen. Where's my, my flagship at? Where's this guy? Way down here. Precursor, Arcology, Archaeology, and Doctrine for a Promethean, Subspace Scanning, and Leadership Recruiting. Sure. I'll take those. Okay, now what do we want? Lose money, but we get we get some some um happiness. Approval's at 60% right now, and approval's a big deal. If we can see what this thing does. What it does for us is big time. I think it's a good idea. Lose a little bit of, little bit of cash, but we gain a lot of everything. Like science, manufacturing, it all goes up. Because people are happy. People are happy. Everything is good. Uh, I think it significantly increases the influence of a selected planet. 500 influence. Um... Well, I, what if we try this thing on 
you. Let's see what happens. Um, who's this? Little frigate's gonna try to attack me? He actually might win. Because all I have here is a couple of fighters and a couple of constructors hanging out. Okay, good, we got them. Are my constructors in this system? Is that what they, I've been looking. I was wondering where those constructors went and they just ran off. I was wondering where those guys went. Okay. 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 I thought I was losing my mind. Like, why, why aren't they here? Okay, so I want. Um, I want this constructor. Let me ship's out here. Constructor. I want you to go and... There's a crystal there. A name and a relic. I want to put this guy at. Um, I'm looking for uh, for these resources out here. Lots of junk. Not a lot of resources. Some Illyrium. 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 Lots of Illyrium. Well, I might be able to get... I can get at least two Illyrium out of them. Send them over here. And then the other guys... We'll set them. There's antimatter over that way. Antimatter. And more lyrium. Antimatter. There's, oh, you know what? We can probably get up there and get two lyrium and an antimatter. Lots of lyrium. That's fine. Never saw that, that space monster. I wonder what he's doing. What if he's still alive? Ha hunting things down here. A trusted advisor reaches out to you with information. A mining conglomerate has unearthed a deposit of crystallized Illyrium on a specific planet, a substance crucial for high-tech energy systems and weaponry. The conglomerate presents two suggestions. The initial suggestion is to extract the resource using AI-based strip mining, promising instant financial gains but with potential damage to the local environment and inhabitants. The second suggestion involves harvesting it sustainably safeguarding the planet's well-being, but advancing economically at a more gradual pace. We are like, like pollution really hurts us being tree folk. So we're going to do it slowly. How's this planet looking? Okay, we're good. Okay, okay. Good, good. Okay. Uh, yeah, as well does need did a, a ship here, doesn't it? Okay, well we'll get one. There's some Durantium. Oh, you know, there's Durantium here also, isn't there? Yeah. There's nothing really anywhere. Nothing else within range, really. What if we can get? I think we can get both. We maybe we'll get like the Durantium and the Illyrium. We'll see. During the detailed analysis of the artifact. Your research team has made a remarkable discovery. The artifact is a reservoir of immense energy. The scientists on your team are certain that they can harness this raw energy to help advance our civilization. However, there is a differing viewpoint that suggests this energy could be used as a sort of cosmic key. This key could potentially unlock unexplored dimensions of the universe, unveiling space secrets that we have not known until now. Space secrets? Oh, I gotta go with space secrets. Peer into a distant part of space, revealing area. Oh, that's all it does? No, oh, that's the worst. I already see everything. Oh, man. That was a waste. Okay. I want... I think our world has more people. I don't know if I want that one. Um. What do I want? It'd be nice to have some weapons. Hmm. 
but these are do have a nice research bonus. Uh, oral factories probably be pretty nice. Um, speaking of, mm, this will give us what? Uh, no money plus plus growth. Okay. Let's build something. We'll get some research. We can do a treasure hunt. Um, do we have any modules? We got five modules. I'm going to make another constructor. And then, uh, do I have... I, is there one more planet out there that we can use? We'll get a freighter also. Okay, so... A couple things I could do with you. I think over here would be a, actually a good one. Xeno archaeology modules on there and grab those two. I think, yeah, that's what we want to do with that. Hey, bugs. Exotic world. Um, emissaries. Some antimatter. You want three techs. I'm going to say no. And you want a lot of money. You guys just have bad ideas. We've been watching you, he says. We know you people have been infiltrating the dreams of the Luxar Dominion. We're not crazy. We demand 10 units of antimatter to build a device to shield our minds from your prying. Um, you're crazy. We did send a monster your way, though. If that's, if that's what you mean. They, con they colonized Meowza, huh? We can't really do a lot of a lot of killing at the moment. We can try to do some killing, though. We got a couple ships around. Money, telescope. Um, hmm. We have a flagship who's decent. We have a we have a couple folks around. What is this guy? Oh, he's making yeah. Right. Okay. They're going to do some building. Okay, and so that is in range, so we could get, we would get the the two ascension crystals, sorry, the ascension crystal and the the relic, which both just need a Xeno archaeology module to study. I'm gonna build a star base, and I guess we'll just do a. I don't know, we need a cultural one, a uh, culture one. We can do just a military one, but oh, that doesn't much, not much point of that either. I suppose we could build it. We can come over here. And just sort of expand our, our reach. Not a lot of benefit for that. Oh, can you upgrade? Hit points, more moves, or sensor range. Um, Just take the hit points. Okay, so I guess, yeah, we'll just do there. Okay, Starbase. Let's get that lab. Uh, approval ratings. Yeah, approval's been a little low, isn't it? This object is old. This is a cool one. I think I've seen this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I've seen this one. This is for the, um, the module. Okay. Um, energy beam weapons. Yeah. There's precursor studies. Let's do that. Because there, you know, there, there is that there. So if we get that, we can colonize that place. And then our colony ship that we are, I think, making one more of. Our colony ship can go get it. Okay. And you got both of these guys coming in? Okay. Excellent. The breakthrough in universal translator technology has opened a gateway for interspecies communication, turning our planet into a potential hub for interstellar tourism. 
This presents us with a unique opportunity to become a crossroads for galactic civilizations, where knowledge, culture and commerce can be exchanged freely and efficiently. As we contemplate this prospect, we must consider the infrastructural and diplomatic challenges it poses. Put another way, we have an opportunity to generate tourism income from alien visitors. That might be a good idea. It's, yeah, I realize the, the approval is bad, but let's do it. Let's go for it. Mainframe, Supply Depot, we got the Heritage Center. Everything kind of has like a, a, a tree looking thing. Okay. Yeah, we'll see what that what that's going to do for us. And then we've got... Oh, yeah, I've got a bunch of these. I should, I should be... Or one of these I should pen in. So we can do a couple in Collectivism, which will give us like... Um... Uh, that'd be nice. People would be happier. I'll give some traits. Free supply ships. Free constructor ships coming in with that one. Research. Approval boost and some colony ships. And then my housing just gain a couple levels. These, I got 22 to spend. I can get one of these. There we go. Okay. Tender can use dispute the region rich in resources. Um, claim as our own. We open negotiation. We need your support. Back our claim. We'll share the resources with you. Remain neutral. We'll not be able to maintain friendly relationships. So we can say we can be buddies with you for a while. And we get some spice, or we can say, we don't like you. Yeah, I'll, I'll take your spice. Okay. What do we got? Oh, manufacturing, you're going to be emissaries, hyperwave radio, and defensive studies. I accept that one. Okay. There we go. This is a good place to call today. Thanks for hanging out. This is part two. Part three will be here shortly. In a few days. And we'll see if... Um, we'll see what we can do with this. I'm at 22%. I don't know if I'm going to make it by uh, by end of part three, but we'll get there. We'll get close. Control... Um, I need 32%. Still get... I must... I need I need 51% of the galaxy control. I don't know if I'm going to get there. I don't know. Didn't move as fast as I was hoping for here. And crank out a, a few more of these. Oh, they grab that one. These, um, these, uh, these guys to expand my reach a bit. But yeah, I didn't colonize as fast as I as I should have. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time. Thanks again, Stardock, for sponsoring this.